Metro Manila, the national capital region of the Philippines. A bustling mega city. Home for more than 14 million people. The Philippines Center for Finance, Commerce, Government and Education. A driving force of the country's developing economy. Which account of almost 37% of the country's gross domestic product. Due to limited land area, the country's national capital region is among of the most densely populated places in the world. With more than 14 million people, in an area of 619.57 square kilometers. In effect, traffic congestion and limited business expansion hampers the potential growth of the region. With these in mind, the national government with the partnership of the local government, will develop new urban centers through land reclamation within Metro Manila. To expand its business district and to develop new core growth centers within the region. Today, we will feature the biggest reclamation project of Metro Manila. Solar City Manila. Rising from the sea. Manila's Solar City is a proposed mixed-use development to be built on a 148-hectare reclaimed land in Manila Bay. Adjacent to the north of the cultural center of the Philippines complex and west of the Manila Yacht Club. Equipped with the latest technology, with renewable and sustainable energy, Manila Solar City stand as a benchmark of today's city's development and progress. As part of Manila Cavite Coastal Project, which consists of several reclamation projects envisioned several decades ago. The reclaimed area will have three islands, East Island 1, Area A, the closest to the Manila Yacht Club, measuring 28.73 hectares, East Island 2, Area B, 36.87 hectares, and West Island, Area C, the farthest, 82.4 hectares. Accessible from mainland Manila, via Quirino Access Point, near Manila Yacht Club. The city will be developed as disaster resilient. Using advanced concept of using technology aiming to have an environmentally friendly city. By using renewable energy such as solar, wind and biomass. All buildings will have its own solar panel to contribute the energy production. While maximizing the wind energy, all building will be designed to have an open ground floor to have a breathable corridors and walkways. By these, the city layouts requires less air calling and conditioning. Providing a continuous green network. The green corridors and walkways will also provide an uninterrupted view of Manila Bay's horizon. Area B and C will be connected via an iconic bridge, overlooking the Philippines' first international cruise terminal. The iconic bridge will feature an illusional glass walkways for an exciting experience. A spectacular seven-star hotel complex with man-made beach is another attraction. The city will also feature an effective intermodal system that aims to minimize the use of private cars. The public transports were designed not to obstruct the traffic flow of the ground. A monorail system will be developed. The city will feature a viaduct transit system providing a safe, easy and convenient navigation around the development.
trams also provide access to grids in viaduct level for a smooth transport system in core developments. The development will also be accessible coming from the Manila Bay to New Manila Yacht Club. The new design for Manila Yacht Club is a perfect symbol of development for harmonious growth or aspire. Horizon Manila is an upcoming mixed-use planned community to be built on a 419-hectare reclaimed land in Manila Bay. It has been described as the biggest reclamation project in Manila, Philippines. The city built on scratch is mapped into three islands, arranged east to west with long faces along the north-south axis, with a 4-kilometer long canal park as the main connecting feature in between the islands. This urban valley recalls the settlement of Manila along the Pasig River, and bolsters the idea of Manila as a city by the river. The main highlight of the city is the Canal Park, a unique and enriching feature that will define the lives of all its residents. The Canal Park not only connects the three islands, but also provides Horizon with a public park at its core that stretches all the way to the water's edge, ensuring that Manila Bay Sunset will be always belong to the public. A viaduct with a monorail system allows direct access from Manila to the islands. From the central station, the trackless electric tram system loop around the development, and no place in the island will be more than a 5 minutes walk away from a tram station. All the roads will be tree-lined, and will feature 8-meter wide sidewalks with 3-meter arcades, that ensure shades in any form of weather. The development emphasizes personal mobility with pedestrian and bike lanes, and aims to encourage a car-free lifestyle for more of its residents. Meanwhile, buildings are designed to minimize heat, while the vertical massing creates clustered towers that keep certain areas shaded all day. There will be a wide array of facilities and amenities, to allow a diverse mix of entertainment for its residents, such as pop-up galleries, and a state-of-the-art basketball arena. And most importantly, the sunset view of the Manila Bay is put into consideration as well, ensuring that this city wonder will be enjoyed by people in the vicinity, with little to no impact to viewers from Rojas Boulevard. The next reclaimed urban development is the SM New Bay City. The Philippines, Pearl of the Orient, and Asia's Rising Tiger, poised for a new beginning. A unique partnership of city governments, national authorities, and a private sector. A vision of 726 hectare of reclaimed land to raise along 9.2 km of Manila Bay shoreline. As a modern masterplan development, creating a premier Asian destination in the Philippines. A collaboration of the people, government and enterprise. In response to fast-growing cities, and rapidly modernizing economy. Designed by local and international planners and engineers. It will provide a new home for 576,000 residents, 924,960 jobs, and 851,666 tourists per year. The reclamation will play an important role in the growth of the region, and in Philippine cities. It's a new dawn for the Philippines. A truly global city. The city of the future. A sustainable city to live, work, learn, and play. Promoting community living for realizing your dreams. A green inclusive city with open spaces. Putting Philippines at par with Hong Kong, Singapore, and Sydney with world-class transportation network and a CBD with fast connectivity to the airport and to the metro. The project will be developed with careful consideration of the surrounding natural habitats. The reclamation is designed to international standards to withstand the strongest typhoon waves and surges with an occurrence of once on a thousand years. Proving soil treatment deployed, considering extreme seismic conditions. 
widens canals to accommodate drainage water from the mainland. The project is truly a milestone, a unique model of collaborative development, aiming towards greater competitiveness and providing greater opportunities for the people. Navodas Boulevard Business Park. The Navodas Boulevard Business Park is an under-construction commercial and business center in Navodas City, north of Metro Manila. It will rise on 650 hectare reclaimed land and has been under construction since 2019. The development is envisioned to create a mixed-use community with residential, institutional, commercial, and industrial areas suitable for port facilities, marine, and tourism. The project will help the local government of Navodas to expand its business opportunities and growth centers within the city. It will enhance Navodas city stature of urban development. Its master plan was designed by Serbana Jurong, a Singaporean government-owned consultancy company focusing on infrastructure and urban development. 